Hello and welcome to Playtime. I'm your host, Alta Gamer 2004 and as you can see, we're back with Vampyr. Uh, we're gonna continue our quest to find out. Yeah! Stop trying to get me to drink the blood of the, ci the civilians. I'm not doing it! Although, after uh, the last episode... Whew, it's tempting, to say the least. Trying to do that one little side quest and getting my butt kicked all over the place. I do have a nice new upgraded weapon, though. I'm half tempted to go test it out before we venture on to what we need to do. Of course, then again, I'm also level 6, so I was handling them with ease. I do need to go and talk to everybody. Yes, Nurse Crane? How can I help you? I'm so sorry. I know Dr. Swansea wanted you to rest, but we have somewhat of a crisis. A crisis, you say? Our supply of antiseptics is nearly depleted. I was hoping there was another box up here, but... What type of hospital are you running? No antiseptics? You have been away too long, Doctor. With the war and now this epidemic, supplies have been running scarce for months now. That I sounds like an solution. excuse. In France, during the war, drugs shortage was a daily problem, and we had to use our wits to overcome the shortages. However do you mean? If combined correctly, certain household chemical products can be used in a pinch instead. Now, where's the hospital storeroom? The storeroom? Fat chance. This is the Pembroke, and space is luxury we don't have. Everything used to be stored in the old morgue. Perhaps I should look there first. Where is this morgue? It's the large building behind the hospital. You'll need to go in the back door because it's been sealed off for sanitary reasons. Take this key. It opens a small back entrance at the end of a narrow street. The abandoned morgue behind the hospital. A small door at the end of a narrow street. On my way then. Thank you, nurse. Remember, kids, winners make results, losers make excuses. Alright, let's go talk to everybody. Oh, hello. Ah, uh, her quest is done. I don't need to talk to her. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Pepper, I know you're very close to Milton Hooks. Yes. Milton Hooks is my man. If you want to report me for that, just feel free, Doctor. I have no intention of reporting you, Nurse Hawkins. But are you aware of the risks? The rules say I won't be allowed to work as a nurse anymore. But here at the Pembroke, we break rules all the time. Is he worth the risk? Hey, I'm no perfect woman, and Milton is not the finest bloke. But we do our best to get by. That's all any of us can hope for nowadays. How is the Pembroke staff coping with the epidemic? Hey, not Doji, well. how's it going? Milton, the ambulance driver, is even more grumpy than usual, especially concerning doctors. Why is Milton grumpy on a daily basis? It's good, it's isn't it? Act. Milton's not the kind of man who's bothered about a bad reputation, whether he deserved it or not. Why hey, I got Milton a new hint for Milton. Like doctors? I don't know. Just ask him. But be warned. Milton is not the chatty type. Oh, I have ways of making him talk. How long have you been a nurse? Well, long enough to see that the epidemic is winning. And no matter how qualified you are, don't tell me you'll change that. 
You'd be surprised. Oh, uh, it's really not. It, dedication. Yeah, it takes a while to get here. This is maybe uh, two Sometimes hours into the game. It's a very lengthy tutorial. Sorry, Doctor. I don't want to sound bitter, but I'm just too tired to give a pep talk like Nurse Brannigan. Okay, I've Goodbye. exhausted everything with her for now. Good evening, Mr. Elwood. Evening, Dr. Reed. How is your stay with us, Mr. Elwood? Oh, it's bliss. I just escaped death in the trenches to be surrounded again by the moans of the dying. Can I ask you precisely why you're a patient here? It's the pain, sir. The drugs don't work. It just hurts under the scars, if you get my drift. Can I do anything for your pain? Nurses gave me a bunch of pills. No effect. Pills here. You, it's like the flames are under my skin, burning away. Who is treating you? Is someone in particular looking after your case? Nobody since the old and tired doctor spoke to me. Started to think I was forgotten about. would not blame you. You don't seem worried by that. My face hurts so much more when I smile or cry. I've learned it's easier not to speak. But be assured I'm smiling inside. How close are you to Miss Horcroft? Are you aware that she thinks she is a vampire? To wait for her next nibble is the best reason to stay here. Every time she approaches my bed, she treats me like something tasty. That's disturbing. A normal person. Aren't you afraid? She may hurt you if the game goes too far. She's quite harmless, I can assure you. Her head's broken inside, is all. Her arm busted on the outside. But she's still beautiful. Living proof that there's hope for me. So do you let her bite you? You know that's not sanitary. And why not? She's only supping a few drops of me blood. And the pain, it's real for once. She could decide to bite less willing patients. Then it's right. another good reason for me to stay here, Doctor. You do realize she's mentally disturbed. It's called the Kotar Syndrome. She truly believes she's a vampire. In her madness, she never refers to my scars. And frankly. If I could, I'd join our world. It seems much more fun than the real one. Hashtag too real. Where were you stationed, sir? Did you serve for long? I really don't want to talk about all this shit. No offense. I was pushing too much. I served in France myself. I just wanted to know what happened to you. You were an officer, weren't you? Then I doubt we fought the same war, sir. No offense. Uh, nope. That's all Goodbye for him. Goodbye for now, Mr. Elwood. I could mesmerize him, but I don't want to... The pain. It's there again. I don't want to feed on anybody. Uh, Milton, my buddy. You have a new hint. I wish to exhaust. Another night of the glorious battalion of Pembroke. Good evening, Milton. Good evening. Why do you have such a mediocre reputation among your colleagues, Milton? Fuck them. Nobody knows the horrors I've seen since working here. Nobody this city was knows. sick long before Fuck the Jesus. epidemic, Dr. Reed. <laughs> I know it's a difficult task, but correct me if I'm wrong. Is this not the job you are paid to do? I've seen babies left to die while their brothers were properly fed. Underage girls and boys sold to all manner of perverts. I'm sorry, I don't know what to say. Yeah, exactly. We lack words. So excuse me if I don't look on the bright side of life. Wow, this Goodbye, game Milton. is almost a perfect mirror for what's going on in 2020. And it's a shame. Uh, before we go into the old morgue... Wait, is there... There were people over here I need to talk to. Yeah. 
Good evening, Dr. Strickland. And good evening. Please, could you tell me something about yourself? I'm a great admirer of your work concerning blood transfusion, Dr. Reed. I run my own experiments. I'm convinced it's the future. I based my technique on my mentors. I'd rather not talk about it. For now, it's just theories and first approach. As long as you're cautious and methodical. Hey. You're not the New first hint. one to warn me. But I am convinced knowledge is the main weapon against the ravages of this epidemic. There is so what much information to have to, to consume. I'm not ashamed to admit you and your work have inspired me. I am honored to have the opportunity to work by your side. It's always a pleasure to share scientific and medical knowledge with someone eager to learn. I'll be glad to help you if I... This epidemic may be the century's most terrible disaster, but I'm convinced that we, as doctors, are the only ones... I really don't care. What can you tell me... Well, it has always been an honor to work with Dr. Swansea. But with your arrival, I can't think of a better opportunity to learn... You seem quite optimistic. I'm convinced that this epidemic is a test. A test of endurance. Questions remain about true. Do you need help with anything in particular? Well, yes, maybe. I'm waiting for a batch of Okay, here we go. Here's a quest. Personal research. Yet my supplier seems to have vanished. Do you want me to play the e Oh no, Dr. Reed. But if I see. Tell me more about your willingness to experiment with new medical techniques. Harvey Fiddick is a patient suffering from a severe injury that could cripple him if not treated correctly. I'm convinced your blood transfusion technique could help him. What is it you really want? To save him? Or to prove your point? A fair question. I want nothing but to save my patient, Dr. Reed. Especially since I know Mr. Fiddick's story. Oh, tell. Do tell. Tell me Mr. Fiddick's story. Our first diagnosis was compromised because Mr. Fiddick lied to us about the real origin of his injury. He first claimed it was an accident. But why would he hide such crucial information from us? Because he is a proud father, ashamed of putting his children at risk because of his own negligence. This personal involvement could also appear to be a lack of impartiality. You must know that a good surgeon must remain neutral. I agree. But that does not excuse Dr. Ackroyd's behavior. A man who did not even take time to converse with his patient. Do you think keeping his distance was a mistake? All I know is that I'm taking care of human beings with desires, hopes, and fears. Not some biological machine comprised of blood, bones, and flesh. Goodbye, Dr. Strickland. All right, where is this... Hey, right Good here. Good evening, Dr. Strickland. No, I and didn't want to talk to him again. Goodbye. No. Good evening. And good evening. Goodbye. I don't want to talk to him. I want to talk to him. Good evening, Mr. Fiddick. Good evening, Dr. Reed. Any news about my operation? Tell me about your injury, Harvey. Why do you feel so guilty about it? My wife died because of me. And now I may lose everything because I've been careless enough to hurt myself. What an arsehole. How could your job be responsible for your wife's death? I was working a double. She went out to bring me a hot meal and got caught in a German bomb raid. You can't hold yourself responsible for your injury, Mr. Fiddick. Unless you tried to hurt yourself. Of course I didn't hurt myself. But I can't work until my arm is fixed. I don't understand my how a blood transfusion helps a doctor. broken arm. Tell me more about the death of your wife, Harvey. 1915. Hey, Jazz Blaze. I was in the army, building workshops for the Royal Flying Corps. Helen was happy I wasn't sent to the front. What happened? The Germans sent Zeppelins to bomb the construction site, but they missed their target. My wife was bringing my dinner when the bombs fell. I'm sorry for your loss. Ah, uh, so just many died me. During the bombings. Going along, finishing up conversations France, with all these people the to there. see if there are any more she didn't suffer. Uh, side quests no to take on. I just know that I'm all that me kids have. Poor little bleeders. There is so much information in this game. After losing their mother, they were smaller then. 
The only good thing about this is my Ellen didn't bring them with her that night. Tell me about the doctors who are arguing about your case. Strickland and Aykroyd. They both want the best for me, but there's a lot of pride there. Doctors are no different from carpenters, it seems. What do you mean? I often had professional arguments with rivals on a building site. Difference is, I disagreed about wooden nails, not flesh and bones. Are you satisfied with your treatment here? Well, it's clear that I've chosen a bad time to be injured. Forgive my bluntness, but you seem overwhelmed by cases of the flu. I won't lie to you about it. I'm afraid we are. Are you sure you don't want to operate yourself, Dr. Reed? I have the feeling you're very capable. And your colleagues seem to think so too. In other circumstances, you would be right. But for now, I don't think I can take on the responsibility. My apologies. He doesn't want to be around the blood. Goodbye for now, Mr. Fiddick. I'll see you later. I will not let you down, my boy. Okay, there's Aykroyd. I finished talking to Strickland. I need to talk to Aykroyd. I'm quite busy right now, Dr. Reed. Tell me, Waverly, what do you think of Dr. Strickland's enthusiasm for his experimental research? Strickland is playing with his patients' lives for pride and glory. Now that, sir, is unethical. Are you thinking about something in particular? Harvey Fiddick needs delicate surgery. I believe we should stick to the usual procedure. But my young colleague obviously disagrees. And are you not afraid that your rivalry with Strickland may be blinding you? Rivalry? I guess you could call it that. But I will never be childish enough to let my personal feelings affect my judgment. Why do you wish to lead this surgery? I strongly believe that Mr. Fiddick should not be butchered to test an unproven procedure. Other people may say that's too conservative a point of view. Conservative? And what are you going to say to Mr. Fiddick if he loses his arm because of the operation? Because that's what's going to happen if the surgery is a failure. Since your tenure in this hospital is longer than mine, perhaps you can tell me more about this place. Let's just say I'm tired of the carelessness around me. I have always respected the skills of Dr. Swansea, but over time, hey, enthusiasm Pac. has become How's it going? displaced. Carelessness? Thanks for resubbing. Exactly what are you talking about? I don't know We're exactly what you're subbed lives. for, but thank you for resubbing. The people who trust us are not volunteering for experimentation. They're here to be healed. I don't intend to run any radical experiments, Doctor. Even if I, as any good practitioner should, express an interest in pushing the boundaries of Not medical bad. research. Modern medical methods were created through audacity oh my God. and ego. There's so but much information in this game. Work, and they're here to protect <laughs> our patients. Hey, I got a new hint. If you have a problem with me, Dr. Ackroyd, please feel free to tell me. Dr. Swansea has imposed your presence on this hospital without asking anyone's advice the benefit of his position but i don't agree with it i know i mean i guess the before, plus side is if i decide to change my mind and feed on these yet. people i'll have already put the work true. in oh, but i have heard about you Doctor. if i get in a tough spot and i need the xp you can't say the same about me since i have not wasted my time courting the press There is no need for such animosity between us. Don't you think the epidemic is already enough to deal with? That is one point we could agree on. And that is precisely why I want to be sure that you will be of help to this hospital instead of a burden. It seems you have bad memories of your military service. I refuse to see this industrial slaughter as scientific progress. War only Are you talking about the one with the lampshade on my head, or on something, the one in me in the hula skirt? I don't know what you've heard about me, but I have already proved my value as a practitioner. I don't question your skills, Dr. Reed, but your motive. Is it money? Fame? 
Or are you truly dedicated? And what exactly? There's no is reason to sub. Uh, I yet. served in the war. I do plan like on you. trying to get some emotes. But unlike I just you, I don't know. I did not use the wound to play or the even, modern sorcerer. Like what my emotes be should what be. you insinuate, Doctor Ackroyd. I only want you to admit you used those men to improve your theories. Knowledge has always. I don't been remember the ham. I must have been drunk. <laughs> weapon, and it has always come at a price. And personal initiative. It is not a question of initiative. It is a question of integrity. These men and women have put their faith in us, Dr. Reed. All right. Thank Everything's finally time. exhausted with him. Thank God. Uh, I don't know who this is. Get out of my way. Great, another chatty doctor. Good evening. I'm Dr. Reed. Always a pleasure to meet a colleague, sir. Especially when he was supposedly dead. A colleague? Are you a doctor, too? Not anymore, sir. I thought that was just I a piece of string. I Rakesh Jadana. Now, I'm just Mr. Jadana. Pawnbroker and humble guardian of this morgue. What do you mean, you used to be a doctor? Was your license revoked? No, sir. It is just that I like to be precise. I run a little pawn shop while taking care of the dead. But I used to be a real doctor. Oh, hey, he's got stuff Please for trade. show me what you have to sell. Of course. It's just trinkets and curios, really. I'm gonna buy the formula. Hey, hey, you. I'm not done chatting to you. Dr. Reed. Have we met before? I don't think so, sir. Why? When we first talked, you said you were glad to meet me since I was reported dead. Funny story, sir. Your sister came here a few nights ago. You were missing, and she was looking for oh, you. Oh, yes, Mary. She needs to be very relieved now. Are you so sorry, Mary? Uneasy being surrounded by so many corpses. Why should I? These bodies are empty vessels. Flesh left to decay. Poof. No soul anymore. All gone. An interesting point of view. And quite an exotic one, too. Most people fear or at least have respect for dead flesh. Sir. As a medic, oh, there's so much I learned to face my death and the death of others. It's the pain we have to tame, not death itself. How did you get this job? Hey, After no I left hints. the army, I worked as an undertaker down by the docks. A dangerous place with many an unpleasant business there. Milton Hooks helped me get a job here. Do you work here alone? Yes, very easy work, sir. All I have to do is watch a few bodies. The situation was very different when the main morgue was still open. Why close the hospital's main morgue? It was for oh. sanitary reasons after the beginning of the epidemic. Cadavers had to, to know to all this. Mass grave. Why do you have to watch these bodies? Because these poor fellows have no names. We keep them in case someone comes looking for the missing. Sadly, very rarely happens. Since you're not afraid of dying, do you believe in life after death, Rakesh? No. I believe we must do all the good we can while alive. For our time is short, and the obstacles are endless. Do you think you would enjoy immortality as a concept? I don't think so. Don't mistake me. I love life, and I'd like to live a long life. But everything has to decay, sir. Even goodwill. So you're ready to die? No, I'm not. I don't fear death, for I won't see it. 
Uh, the character I'm playing as, Jonathan Reed, is a vampire, recently turned vampire. No, Dr. Reed, I am a foolish man. Learning to deal with vampirism and his bloodthirst while trying to get revenge on the, uh, pe he's a level four anyway. Uh, trying to get revenge on the vamp that turned him. Everything decays. If I was to never die... What I'm doing right now is trying to learn as much as I, I can about people because, for whatever reason, knowing about their lives sense, makes their blood better. Depressing, wouldn't you say? And yes, if I should choose to feed the on them, I get more is, XP from it. We'll all die to level up my character. Humanity, sir. I'm going to try and go with a... Uh, I expect you get all types of people right? here. Yes, sir. All kind of people. But I sell all kind of goods. I'm gonna try for a no feed run, but I don't care about that. That's not gonna give me anything. Goodbye, Mr. Chairman. All right, thank God. Let's. Good evening. No, I don't want to talk to you again. Goodbye. I believe that's all of my options finally exhausted. I'm picking pockets from dead people. Uh, letter. Crumpled letter. Uh, track that. Where did that letter go? Oh, no. Um, oh, All right, I, uh, just in case I need any of this stuff in my, uh, okay, none of that fills out my stuff. All right. Uh, yeah, this... Okay, I'm gonna go test out my new weapon. And this place kicked my ass last time. Let's just go ahead and knock him down. Oh! Ow! Fire! Okay, new weapon's pretty good. You aren't impaling me. Ow. I'm trapped in a hate corner! Ow. Ow. Fucking firebolts.
Oh, he got taken down. I got a couple of screws. So these people were only here to guard that letter. That's great. All right. Let's get out of here now that I know I can handle myself a, a bit better in a fight. Oh, hello. Common bigger part. Oh, I got a bigger part for you. <laughs> How about that? Mr. Cox. Dr. Reed. Still working at night, I see. I like that. And why is that? People who don't sleep at night always seem more alive to me. More interesting, one way or another. How is your hospitalization going, Mr. Cox? Uh... This is a shitty place with shitty staff. But as long as I'm treated all right, I'll be fine. What's wrong? with the Pembroke staff. That bastard you sent to bring me here, Milton. I thought he was gonna break all my bones before I reached my bed. I see. Any other smart comments? The nurses aren't too ugly. Especially that foxy one, Nurse Crane. Oh. Pretty brunette, tough attitude, or I like that. What's I'm sorry, I don't find Crane, Come on, Dr. <laughs> Crane that the appealing. Dump, smelly, sad, and dirty. But you're alive thanks to the efforts and dedication of the staff here, aren't you? What are you expecting, a medal? I thought that saving lives was just part of the job. Must be an unsatisfactory profession at this time, I'm sure. Do you ever think about that poor fellow I saw you push in the water? The wound he gave me will make sure I don't forget him. Still fucking hurts. Boss, it cut me good. That man was determined to murder you. You almost died. What a surprise. The first time I met him, he nearly shit himself. Fucking coward. Well, I guess revenge gives you balls. Revenge for what? What did he want? Revenge? I recently had to kill his brother. Poor asshole thought it would be easy to return the favor. Only the strongest survive, then. Survival at all costs. Is that all you think about? I'm the toughest bastard you'll ever meet, Dr. Reed. And I don't give a fuck what you think of me. How long do you think you can escape the law, Clay? I know this city like the back of my hand, Doc. I know its streets, who to pay, who to avoid, and who to bully. Maybe it's a good thing I kept him alive. We can't escape the consequences of our actions. The past catches up with us in the end. I ain't afraid of death. I don't hide who I am. I live my life honestly, which is more than I could say for most folks. And who are you then? I'm the leader of the Wet Boo Boys. One day, I'll leave this shitty place and punch in the face all who thought I would not come back. Oh, hey, I've got a quest for wet boot boys. I'll leave you for now. Uh, where was that? Mr. 
Okay, so I can't do anything with that yet. Uh, where was that? I need to bring up the map. I'm lost. Okay, if I keep following this road... Is this still part of the hospital? What's this? I think this is still part of the hospital. I don't know, is there anything for me to kill back here? Or loot? Ah, uh, that's the morgue. This is the morgue area. I don't want to go here. Oh, that's him, uh, kind of like entrancing people to learn hidden truths that they don't want to talk about. He uses, uh, hints that the, he's learned about people it's locked, to... All right. Why? Why? Why is this one locked? Let me in. This is a safe house, isn't it? Oh, hello. Got 11 and a 10. Oh, he's got fire. You just chill. Ow, he's got fire. Ow. Take care of you. Give me your blood. Don't you mean don't dead open inside? Uh, okay, I need to go this way? Yes. No, I'm allowed to feed on my enemies for whatever reason, but I'm a no feed run is you don't feed on any of the civilians. Oh, he oh, I could take him. He's a, he's a nine. Ow. You chill. Yeah, pretty much. Anybody that would normally attack me, I'm allowed to fight, but I'm allowed to uh, feed on, but I'll, I didn't want to feed on a rat. Why are it's all these locked. safe houses locked? Oh, there's blood. I lost the trail. I also lost focus on what I was supposed to be doing, or what I wanted to be doing. Which was the side quest. I'm back at the hospital. How did I get turned around? Oh, that's that same door then. Oh no, it's a, it's two doors to the same safe house. Okay.
Oh. What level are you? Twelve. I can take you. This is not the place for you, sir. Ah, he's got a he's got a crossbow. Can I open this door? No. They're kind of grouped up, so. Feet on him. Ow. Stop with the fire. Hey, I got five shillings. Watery, bloody, uh, sturdy blood sample. Oh, that's a scalp. Oh, that's a pair of skulls. Uh, and they're both resistant to, uh... Oh, that's a boss! Ow. I need to feed on you. Ow! He keeps teleporting right as I'm about to stun him. Ow! I'm gonna die. I died. Was not expecting to run into a boss. That was a skull. It's kind of like a lesser vampire. Yeah. And straight up kicked my ass. It was also 10 levels higher than me, but I mean, if it weren't the fact that it was a boss, I probably could have taken it. Okay, we're not going down that side street. I don't know. That's enough of that right now. I need to feed. Give me your blood. Dodge. Ow. Ow.
stop, that tickles. Got a glass vial. Yeah, quit taunting me, you stupid skull. Ooh, I got some rod. I got a rod. Um, am I in the right... You know what I just learned? Hmm. Well, fuck me. This boss is guarding the supplies. Maybe I can... Shit. Shit. Can I kite without triggering the boss? Teleporting behind me. Of course, the prayer win came in, but we're only focused on me and not attacking him. So fuck me again. I have bullets. Maybe I shoot the fucker. Hey, remember how I said, hey, yeah, I'm going to have no problems now because I have an upgraded uh, weapon. Hey. Oh, man. All right, I've got a gun. I have no blood. So I should get some blood before I go and fight him again.
Give me your blood. That's taken care of. Let's switch to the gun. Chill out. Ow. Man, if you could stop teleporting the exact moment I fire my gun. this guy yeah quit fangling that little fucking piece of cheese in my face oh you're getting your ass kicked well feed on some of the people that you've teasing me try not to feed I'm only a fucking level six though and that gun was pointless He teleported every time I tried to take a, a shot. Come here. Oh, I still have the gun equipped. Stop dodging now, that'd be awesome. Okay, you can stop hurting me now. But I gotta keep spending because of you. Oh, that's garbage! Yeah! 
All right. How do I fight this guy? Okay, I found the cheese. That sweet Gouda. Back my blood. I can't believe that worked. Man, not feeding is rough. the hell is this? Opium is one of the main ingredients of Strickland's medication. Never a good move. I hear more skull. I better get out of here. I can take this guy with ease. I cannot enter. Well, fine. This game really ratchets up the difficulty. They 
pretty much want to force you to feed. What is... Oh, that's my cursor. Over there! <laughs> Ow, that hurt. Don't do that again. My stick, my stick, my stick is better than bacon. I heard a skull somewhere. You know what? It's none of my business. I've got a side quest to do. You can't touch my stick. It's just a stick. <laughs> I promise I haven't been sucking blood. That's uh, ketchup all over my face. What? Who am I supposed to turn this into? Am I supposed to tell them both? I'm quite busy right now, Dr. Reed. No, I have Thank to go. You for your time. I have to tell you. Good evening, Dr. Strick. And good evening. I located the shop, but it was vandalized, and the owner is missing. All I found was your order. I was afraid of such bad news. People are so desperate they're ready to burgle a shop for drugs. That's quite a list you ordered. Opium. Sodium hypochlorite. It can't be just headaches you're trying to cure. It's dreadful influenza, of course. I already ran some tests on hopeless cases. Without success, I must admit. Do you realize you could create a lethal poison without the correct dosage? Then there are the legal ramifications. Is this not true of any medical substance, Dr. Reed? However, if you would agree to improve it, I'd be glad to accept your help. As long as you promise to be scrupulous with your experiments, I may try to gather these substances and even help improve upon the mixture. That's all I'm asking for, Dr. Reed. That's all I'm asking. Hi, Mom. I want to know about these secret tests you run. And if they can save people from this epidemic, speak to me now, Thoreau. I know I may sound presumptuous, but I'm just following your steps, Dr. Reed. I'm casting away the shadows of ignorance by daring to face them. Self-confidence is essential in our line of work, my young colleague. But only if tempered with the correct amount of cynicism. But you never doubt yourself, Dr. Reed. I've read all your articles and books. You performed the most daring research during the war. You have my support, Dr. Strickland. I know exactly what it feels like to battle an unknown disease with only your mind and force of will to help you. Thank you, Dr. Reed. You don't know what that means to me. Goodbye, Dr. Strickland. Okay. I can't let Strickland put his patients at risk with opium. Perhaps an adjusted formula will deliver more of a placebo effect. I'm all right. Don't waste your time with me. Oh, I gotta talk to Good these evening, people now. Can I help you? It's my son who needs you, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. How can I help your son? I'm Beatrice Goswick, mother of Mortimer Goswick. Could you check on him, please, Dr. Reed? I've heard much of your talents as a physician. <sighs> what can you tell me about yourself, Mrs. Goswick? Not much to say. Just take care of my Mortimer, and I'll cover all the expenses. Hey, I like that matters. Uh, that's what I like to hear. 
Are you really that rich? Most of the patients here are of a more humble origin, if I may say so. Yes. Thanks to my husband. May he rest in peace. I can cover oh. any needed medical expenses. Why do we gotta ask where, ask about her you money? Have an occupation, Mrs. Goswick. I'm a teacher by profession. I teach young women who are more ambitious about their futures than their families. I don't need to know. What do you think of your reception here? Any complaints? I have had the uttermost reservations about this hospital since we arrived. But we had no other choice, considering the state of emergency. Is there something in particular that's bothering you? Well, Some at least I got a hint, so... Welcoming. I suspect they're not accustomed to dealing with patients of such social standing. Tell me more about your arrival at the Pembroke Hospital. What gave you such a bad first impression? The ambulance driver was quite rude, for a start. And that nurse... And everybody hates on, uh, old Morty. What do you mean? She managed to secure a bed for my son despite the epidemic. It was a relief, but it wasn't cheap. She charged you for a bed? Yes, and I paid without question, considering the urgency of the situation. Ooh, I get to talk to Pippa again. I share your concern, Mrs. Goswick. Be sure that I'll talk to the people involved. I don't expect compensation, Dr. Reed. But I'm aware such behavior would not be tolerated in other hospitals. Your son wished to die, Beatrice. Why did you hide such crucial information? Are you not aware suicide is a crime? Mortimer could be thrown in jail. I can't let that happen. I won't. I understand you fear the legal consequences, Mrs. Goswick. I thought suicide was, attempted don't you suicide was a crime. Your silence significantly affects your son's case. All my son needs is help and comprehension. Or but then again, I'm basing this on a video what game. May or may not have done. Oh, Google. Goodbye, Mrs. Goswick. Good evening, Doctor. How no, I don't want to talk to you! Goodbye, Mrs. Goswick. This hospital seems to be falling apart. But in the circumstances, I'm willing to give you the benefit Good evening. of the doubt. I'm Dr. Reed. Can I help at all? No. Really? Why are you here, then? I don't want to talk. My throat hurts too much. I suppose that this pain is the reason you're here. Is someone taking care of you? Yes. And no. Could you at least tell me your name, sir? Mortimer. Mortimer Goswick. Why did your mother have you hospitalized here? She seems convinced this is a bad hospital. My mother just wants the best for me. She won't rest while I'm here. She'd go all the way to hell and back to help me. Pembroke Hospital may look unorthodox, but rest assured you're in good hands here. It's not me you have to convince, Dr. Reed. It's my mother. Is your mother bothering you? As your doctor, I can ask her to leave you alone if you would prefer. That's tempting, Doctor. But you have no idea what my mother is capable of. She would tie herself to my bed if you asked her to leave. How painful is your throat, Mr. Goswick? So painful I'd rather not talk at all, Doctor. That's fine by me. I'm sure you realize a doctor and his patient have to communicate, sir. Would it help if I gave you some paper and a pen? Not really. I see. Then maybe it's not just your throat that hurts, Mr. Goswick. Perhaps your sore throat is just the consequence of something more hurtful. Yes, maybe. But I don't want to talk or even write about it now. How painful is your throat? So painful. I I'll let you... Good evening, sir. Doctor. Good evening, Doctor. I don't want to talk to you again. Good... Good evening. I'm okay. Admitted, Mortimer. Your mother had you hospitalized here because you tried to kill yourself. Yes, it's true. All right, then. This is the first time we've really shared information about your case. Shall we call this progress? Call it what you want, Dr. Reed. 
Can I help you in any way, Mr. Goswick? I wrote a letter for my mother. She was supposed to read it after... after my death. But... I suppose she doesn't have to read it now. I see. And is this letter still near the place where you tried to take your own life? Yes. And I don't want anyone reading my last words. I mean, I'm still here. If you bring me back that letter, then perhaps we'll talk. Oh, great. You can trust me. I won't report you to the authorities. My one and only concern is your health. I guess I should thank you then. Tell me about yourself, Mr. I don't want to talk. I have to go now. Okay, so while I need one... Do I have the stuff that they're asking for? I need one unit of potassium per... Is this what I need? As for me, potassium permagrade. I gotta take them all to my medical desk. Do I have six units of ferrous tartrate? tartrate? I think I have everything but the ferrous tartrate. Bring one unit of sodium hypochlorite. I think I have that. I have four units of ferrous tart tartrate. I have I need two more units of ferrous tartrate. Where do I get ferrous tartrate? I wonder if one of the uh Traders have fair star trade. Oh shit, that's right. I also got to talk to uh that mistress of the dark. Stop following me. I also got to talk to Pippa again. Yo. Milton. Good evening, Milton. Good. I'd like wise choice, Doctor. No. Good evening. Good evening, Doc. Tell me why you're extorting money from some of the patients here. If a patient wants a bed, he'll have to pay me a little fee. That's all. Where did you get the idea for such an immoral scam? Funny you should ask. The first time it was from a patient who bribed me to get a bed. It's only then I realized I could make a fortune. Admit it. Nurse Hawkins is more than your lover. She's also your partner in crime. Of course she is. How else could I tell which bed is free? I need to know that. Have you no shame? Don't you see the city is crumbling down? Today, people are ready to pay to get a hospital bed. Tomorrow, we may be fighting for food. Goodbye, Milton. He's worth a lot of XP. Uh, where'd that old doctor go? Good evening, Doctor Rick. Okay, Goodbye, I haven't doctor. learned anything new about him. No, I don't want to talk to him. Good. 
Good evening, Nurse Brannigan. Good evening. I'm not familiar with all the stuff. Brilliant professionals. But Most of them. It would be inappropriate. Why does Dr. Tippett's claim you're the main reason he keeps working, despite his fatigue? If it wasn't for him, I probably would have left the Pembroke years ago. Dr. Tippett's does not think of you as just a nurse anymore, does he? If you're suggesting he's not taking my gender into consideration when it comes to medical practice and knowledge, I really hope he doesn't. Goodbye, nurse. All right, uh, get off of me. I wonder if, uh, what was his name, Rakesh? Oh, Peppa. Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening. Milton cheats patients out of their money at this hospital, Pepper. Are you his accomplice? Yes, I am. Is this your definition of being useful? By abusing the sick and poor? No. It is my definition of getting out of this useless life once and for all. Why do you do it? Why not? Most of the sick who paid for a bed are already dead. Or will be soon. Don't you see the futility of all this? You put a price on hope. This goes against everything you swore to uphold as a nurse. Report me then, Dr. Reed. Report the little nurse and keep on lying about the surgical errors, the wrong dosages and diagnostics that we all covered for the sake of our colleagues. Whose idea was it? What difference does it make? We did it together, and I'm guilty as charged. Answer my question. It was my idea first, even though Milton would say it was his to protect me. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. Man, I could get a lot of XP if I wanted to eat. Uh, okay. Where is the morgue dude? Do you have, uh... Please show me. Of course. No, you just have codeine and opium. Okay. So I gotta find this crap the hard way? It's locked. This sucks. Well. Oh. I can cure people of fatigue? I mean, I can't say that I fault them, but at the same time, it is evil. <laughs> Can I create a fatigue potion uh, serum? I can, but it takes the stuff that I need. And I don't know where to get more. The flower's dying. It needs water. I don't know where to get more ferrous tartrate. Oh, I guess while I'm doing that. Let's track that.
Oh, hey, it's close. Oh, this is the, the safe house I couldn't get into earlier. In this letter, Mortimer Goswick does nothing to hide his desire to die. I could give it to his mother, but doing so would betray his trust. Now I want to open the chest. Shillings. It's locked, all right. Uh, maybe if I give it the letter to him, I'll get the code. Good evening, Mr. Goswick. I'm okay. I have retrieved your letter, Mr. Goswick. I can assure you that nobody read it but me. Thank you. This is for you, then. For your help. And for your silence. I think you should talk to your mother. Thank you. A hundred shillings. I have to go now, sir. Good evening, sir. Fuck yeah. I guess I have nothing to do but to... Go to the morgue. And a loading screen. There's enemies in here. Skull. There's skull in here. I don't want to go out yet.
Oh, it's just a level six skull. Balls of Mars. Fortifiers. <laughs> as popular as they are ineffective. But they do contain iron tartrate, and that might prove itself useful. Uh, did I not pick up this? Oh. This key will surely grant me access to the basement. Yeah. Ow. Anything upstairs? Watery rich blood sample. Nope, gotta go downstairs. These scowls feed from corpses and the husks of animals. Not after blood. Hey, there's some ferrous tar trait. Keep looking. Well, you see me. Hey, fair star trait. The more of that I get, the better. It's locked. locked. Oh, hello. Directly absorb blood? And it's quick. Hey, I jerk. I could cure fatigue and do that quest.
I can't go in there. I can't wait to try it. Um... Ow. Oh, the blood rate, the blood gain is not that great. I'm better off stunning and then just biting. I'm going to take out your shadow. Get off me! Get off me! I'm dead. I'm not sure I can defeat them without becoming stronger. Oh, to drink blood is so tempting. Tell me about it. Sodium hypochlorite. Dangerous to administer, but efficient in the proper dosage. blood.
ain't biting me. I'm biting you. Ah, you're biting me. Get off me. I wonder if there are any more of them upstairs. And by upstairs, I mean up here. I hear one. I cannot enter. Oh, okay. Time to leave. I did not mean to do that. Okay. I had stuff to break down into... One unit of sodium? Um... What am I doing? One unit of sodium hypochlorite, one unit of potassium permagrate. Oh. Strickland's project could be dangerous. 
I have a mind to report if the flower's dying. It needs water. I really should report him. Good evening, Dr. Strickland. And good evening to Goodbye, Dr. Strickland. No! And good... I'm quite busy right now. I know that you're a busy man, but I could use your help and advice. The great Dr. Reed honors me with a request. What is it exactly? Dr. Strickland devised an experimental drug for the Spanish flu that he asked me to manufacture. You know what I think of fringe medical experimentation? That's exactly why I want you to keep the result, Doctor. I made sure it won't harm anyone, but I'd like you to take care of it. I see. Put it in my cabinet. I'll give you the key. I'll make sure no one uses this medication by mistake. I'll do that. Thank you for your help, Dr. Ackroyd. Thank you for your trust on the matter, Dr. Reed. Thank you for your... I gotta go upstairs, okay. It's locked. I thought he just gave now me a key. Now that Dr. Ackroyd has been warned, he should make good use of this formula. Um, no. Where's the water to... There we go. I like get a little bit of XP every time I learn a new hint, so... Actually, I should go back upstairs and make a couple more, uh, fatigue potions while I can. Breaks down that gives me sodium hypochlorite. Sodium hypochlorite. Rusty box of pills. Good evening, sir. Good evening, do Doctor. 
I've read your son's medical report, Beatrice. It's not the flu or anything life-threatening. What has you so worried? He was at death's door when he was brought here. I just want him to be better as soon as possible. He's not out of the woods yet, you know. He might need to stay here longer than expected. Take care of him then, Dr. Reed. People here only seem to focus on contagious patients. I worry my... I have read your son's suicide note. It was not an impulsive gesture, nor was it his first attempt. He threatened to kill himself a few times before. But I never thought he would dare to punish me this much. Punish you? Why? I've known for a long time he was not happy with his life. But I always hoped he cared enough to avoid making me suffer like this. Do you realize your son could try to kill himself again? He might succeed next time. I think about it every minute. But I won't stop fighting for my son's future. That's how much I love him. You're right. Your son's death was not fatal. And unlike many on their own, he is lucky to have you by his side. I can't give up on him. I just... Mortimer is extremely vague as to his motivations for committing suicide. Tell me... As you say, Mortimer had no reason to die. Why did your son feel so you? I think it was more that he could only see the melancholy... What do you think he meant by... Mortimer has always been a sensitive soul. He wouldn't talk to anyone for months after his father passed. It's like he carried... Goodbye, Mrs. Goswick. I'm all right. Don't wait. Good evening, Mr. Goswick. I'm okay. Do you need any help? I'm afraid I may, sir. I don't mean to be a burden. You are not a burden, sir. Healing you is my responsibility. And you have my gratitude for that. Your mother won't let you down, Mortimer. Don't you share her hope for a better future? No. I was at what, 19? I don't. Hundred? Won't even try. Do you want me to promise you I'll get better? Do you want me to tell her the same thing? I could, but it would not change anything. I've read your letter, Mortimer. You wrote about an unbearable feeling of despair while the world crumbles around. There's nothing more to say, really. It's hurtful, it's unbearable, and I don't ask anyone to. Despair is a deadly poison I've tasted myself, sir. We're only tempted to drink it because we're... Te I know that perfectly, Doctor. Your medical report says you're not affected by the Spanish flu. What do you think of that, Mortimer? Does it make me happy? And why do you think you don't believe... I know the staff have more important things to do than look after me. There's plenty of patients... I have to go now, sir. But don't hesitate to contact me if you need any help. I'm all right. Don't waste your time with me. I got 25 points for healing. With you at our side, Doctor Reed. I know. Ah. Uh, that's somebody behind a locked door. I've got new information on her. Good evening. Good evening. According to the report I read, your unprofessional conduct put a patient in danger, Gwyneth. That's not true. I know when my patient's life is at risk, and I'm more competent than a lot of doctors that I know. Problem is, I'm a woman. I don't see what your gender has to do with your abilities, nurse. Yes, nurse. Because I'll never be a doctor, no matter what my skills. I could make a decision that could save a life, but oh no, that's unbecoming conduct. Have you heard of Elizabeth Blackwell? She was the first woman listed on the UK Medical Register. 
Change is slow, but it will come. And you will always have my support. To have the right to study shouldn't be determined by sex, skin, or wealth. That's all I'm saying. Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. All right, I'm at 1985. If I heal him... Hi, <laughs> Doc. You're lucky to be alive, Mr. Cox. I hope you're starting to take better care of yourself. This place is full of sickness and decay. How could I get better in such a dump? Consider yourself lucky that I'm treating all of my patients equally. But don't push your luck. Don't play the innocent with me. I'm sure you have good reasons to act this way. And also weaknesses that can be exploited. Man, fuck you. I'll leave you for now, Mr. Cox. Yeah, I got 25 XP. Really? That's all I get is 25 XP for that? All right, Crane, where are you? Finally, you've returned, Doctor. Did you find anything of value? Yes, nurse. You've worked your first miracle, Doctor. Now, this patient here needs immediate treatment. Duty calls? When the storm has passed, I'll show you how to mix the remedy yourself with the same basic ingredients. I already Many healed thanks, him. Doctor. When you finished, you ought to report to Dr. Swansea in his office. He's been looking for you. Seemed pressing. My sweet girl. This hospital. Okay, so I skip this and I go straight to Swansea. Ah, uh, Swansea, my boy, where are you? Hey, what? Yeah, it's a matter of getting up there. You can't do that. You get your ass back up there. Get in there. Please, Jonathan, come in. Fascinating, is it not? In the last decade, so many mysteries have been brought to light with our microscopes. 
the human body, biology's penultimate frontier. The more we explore its boundaries, the less we're able to trace a clear line between life and death. <laughs> the, you, my friend, have a foot in both countries. The view must be vertiginous. It's at least as vertiginous as chatting about vampires with you, I would say. This must be all so new to you. This area of town, the hospital, a brand new life. How stimulating it must be. I wish I could share your enthusiasm, Dr. Swansea, but my condition defies scientific categorization. Undead? Unalive? Immortality defies logic. I cannot express my thrill at this serendipitous turn of events. The world's most eminent specialist in blood transfusions, a vampire. One might say a gift from heaven. I'm a dead man. I was murdered. Now I'm a murderer. Tell me how this is a gift. Forgive me. I've been an admirer of your work for a long time, and now you are so much more than a brilliant physician. And please, call me Edgar. I'm not some doe-eyed student, Edgar. I understand we both have something to gain from this relationship. Very well. I have a task for you, Jonathan. Something that will require all your newfound skills. Please, go on. The Pembroke only survives through the generosity of our benefactors. Unfortunately, our main donor has found herself in a bit of a bind. Now, if you could help her out... A spokesman or politician is what you need. That's not my calling. And until I come to understand what has happened to me, I require discretion. Discretion is in order, Jonathan. Lady Ashbury has recently received rather indelicate correspondence that, if revealed, would jeopardize her position. And you would like me to eradicate this threat? By the stole, of course not. I would just like you to pay her a visit. Her ladyship is certainly near the tents outside, tending the sick. You can't miss her. Look for someone impossibly delicate. Accepted. I'll see what kind of trouble Lady Ashbury is in. All right. That sounds like a good stopping point. I'm going to go rest, spend some points, and then... Oh, hey. This door wasn't open before. Uh, definitely want the shield.
Hey, I made them healthy. skill. Okay. I think that's going to call it for this episode. Uh, next time I will uh, investigate the... the rat. Or whatever this thing is. Uh, as always, have fun with it, because if you're not having fun, why are you playing? Take care, everybody.